Hey guys, this is me, Reynaldo again. I want to make a quick demonstration about what I'm doing with this. Um, the way you have is um, a graphical interface that I constructed using Status Vision Designer, which is a product of Beyond SCADA. Yeah. So um, this image there shows you tank seven, which is part of the project that I'm doing. The pump, a control valve, CV five. Tank two, control valve, CV fifteen, and tank one. So what this project essentially does is uh, I take water from this reservoir tank tank 1 pump into tank 2 and then I will control the level here to the desired one and then this level the outlet of here goes as a header of tank 2 I will also control the level here but independently control here and control there yeah that's what essentially this plant do but on this project um, I had to do wirings I had to wire um, the pump wire for the control valve um, um, the air supply a I2P as well Wiring the level transmitter to sense this, which is an ultrasonic T as well, and wiring the ultrasonic sensor on this tank as well. I'm gonna show you quickly some of these wirings. This is a rough sketch of the wiring that I had to do. I first built this diagram LT38, which is on tank 7. And then, yeah, connected to these terminals, power supply, and then goes to the PLC. I'm using a Delta PLC on this project, where I'm programmed two controllers. And then this is another one, LT32, which is on tank 2. Yeah, PLC there. Another one I would like to show you is this one here for CV15. Just come from control valve I2P, yeah, and I have the source here. And CV5, control valve number 5. So yeah, that's what I've done. But now, um, I tested this program or this plant, um, both the systems together. I also tested them with only uh, water being taken from here and put on this tank just to test this, this part of the, pro the project. I also tested just using this part of the project and afterward once I was happy with controlling I had on this tank on the other tank then I integrated both of them yeah and they were interacting pretty well so what I'm gonna show you now is uh, transfer function that I got I applied the step input to my tank that one tank too and uh, measured the response and that's what I got uh, this measurement I took from a, a rig, regal oscilloscope yeah. after having that measurement from this I got the values like the time and the time constant with those value I, I was able to find to calculate the transfer function of my plant
which is this that I'm going to show you just now. Oh, the image is flickering. Yeah. Uh, that's how I went about to calculate the transfer function. I have this document which if you're interested I can gladly supply you and that's what I got that's the formula I mean and scroll down scroll down yes from that picture there I measured that, that this will be my time constant 84 seconds and that's my dead time 80 seconds so this would be my transfer function here now I went to MATLAB and built on Simulink that simulation diagram with the exact parameter you can see the 84 and here on time delay I have got the 88 seconds then apply the step input to that and that's the response that I've got pretty much the same so I was happy with that